Hey, first thing I want to do is I want to do a shout out for a criminally undersubbed YouTuber called Spiritual Bully. Uh, I will put a link down below to his channel. He makes really well spoken, great vids on uh, information and a, a wide, actually a wide variety of things. But I really, I first found his videos uh, on a, uh, they were a related link to a video on information theory and specified complexity. He, he explains it. I think as well as anybody I've ever seen. Um, he does a great job, so please uh, check out his videos and subscribe if you like him. I I, I think it's he is worth your attention. Um, but this this is a sad video, sad uh, because I I hate to be what's the term the turd in the punch bowl the the fly in the ointment um, about this whole new arsenic loving bacteria or whatever that's being it's all I see now a number of YouTube videos I'm seeing a whole bunch of uh, headline news articles about it uh, and I I hate to be that guy but it's not that exciting it it is cool it's all any new you know new discovery in science is, is exciting but this is being overstated to the point uh, that I, I, I have this sickening feeling in the pit of my stomach that it's going to be another thing that's going to come back and it's going to bite us in the ass. I, I, I'm going to start off here. Um, this is going to be a rant. I am never... I've, I've expressed this in other videos before. I, a, I don't... I'm not a big fan of pop science reporting. Okay? It, more often than not, uh, the popular press gets a hold of really good science and they twist it and do it. They, they try to make it entertainment and in doing so remove any actual legitimate science from the article and instead blow it out of proportion that's why they say i cringe when i see a headline that goes missing link discovered because it's just like oh my god you know they they they're making some claim that will then once the hype is gone and it's sort of like you know the truth comes out the creatards live for that kind of stuff. They live for these sort of things that they can say, ha ha, they, they were wrong again. When they, scientists, the scientists weren't incorrect. The scientists never make the claims that the popular press does. Um, it's basically Nebraska man all over again, over and over. And this is what's going on in this case. Okay, I, I first of all, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a picture and then I'm going to explain what it is. Picture is here. Okay, what you saw, sorry it was brief, and it, 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 I know it's not going to show up so you can read any of the things on it, but essentially this from an article, I'll put a link to, to the paper, the paper's online, um, that is a paper from a year ago, uh, talking about, what is it talking about? Arsenic respiration in bacteria. Um, bacteria utilizing arsenic in place of phosphorus. That is over 40 different kinds of bacteria at, at the time of that paper that had been identified that utilize arsenic respiration. Okay? Um, now, the new one is, is unique in the sense that it, can, it incorporates uh, phosphorus into its, its nu the bind, the, what binds the nucleotides together. Um, that's, that's interesting. But even that is overstated, significantly being overstated. Um, essentially, so what they found, okay, this bacteria... Um, First of all, isn't utilizing arsenic in its natural environment. Okay, it lives; it's tolerant of arsenic, and the 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 hypothesis was that because it's tolerant of arsenic, it could possibly start incorporating arsenic if it was forced to. They brought it into the lab, they put it in a phosphorus depleted environment, gave it arsenic instead, and it incorporated some arsenic into some of its bonds, some of its membranes, some of its, its um, nucleotide bonds. Okay, that's what it did. Um, it did not. It, it, the, the implication from the pop science stories is, is that they discovered a whole new form of life utilizing a whole new biochemistry that's never been seen before, which is simply a load of shit. Um, 
it, it, I, I, I'm astounded that even in the article, it's, if you read the science article, it clearly states what they found. It clearly states what they did. It does not make, it's not claiming this new, new form of life. Um, it, I, I, I'm just amazed. Yes, it's, it is an exciting discovery. Um, but the thing is that, that is in, a, in the original article is that, first of all, when they incorporate arsenic into their DNA, when they actually are doing this, it's a shitty arrangement. It doesn't work very well. They don't grow as well. They don't divide as fast. And a significant amount of the, these bacteria die. Okay? In other words, so they're able to utilize it. They're able to... It, they, have, they don't have the phosphorus, so they use a poor substitute, and they do poorly. But the fact, the amazing thing is that they can use the substitute at all. This is, the implication is, I mean, even that, that stupid, dumbass animation from NASA showing, you know, as if they somehow replaced all of the phosphorus with arsenic and were just happily growing with arsenic. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm ranting, but this really makes me mad. I, I don't, I, I'm astounded. Um, it, it is, it, they had a chance to present good science to the public in a way that, that, you know, in a meaningful way. And instead, they chose the flashy, you know, let's blow this out of proportion. Let's let's make it sound like we discovered life on another planet or we discovered a whole new origin of life on Earth, um, which is which is simply not true. Um, like, again, this article, I, uh, article I, I linked to, uh, the, one of the authors of the, of the current article in science, Stoltz, um, has published for over a decade describing arsenic respiration in bacteria. Okay, over a decade, over two decades ago, it was hypothesized that these extremophile bacteria, in the right conditions, could possibly be induced to accept or accept arsenic instead of phosphorus in their in their DNA. Okay, it was it was speculated that such a thing could exist, and. The reason they found it is because they were looking for it. The reason they were looking for it is because it was long suspected that it probably would work. Okay? This isn't like, you know, they were just, you know, stumbling around and accidentally found this bacteria. You, that's, that's what the stories are sort of presenting it as. As if this, this um, you know, as if it was an accidental discovery, you know, we, we, we stumbled across a new form of life. When it was, first of all, again, it was created in the laboratory they don't do this in nature they are tolerant of arsenic they actually use arsenic in their respiration they don't incorporate it into their into their dna or their cell membranes um they discovered that yo and behold they can do it they can do it they don't like to do it they don't do it naturally and they they're simply not they're not utilizing arsenic chemistry in the in their fundamental makeup um I okay I guess that that's probably enough of a ramble on this. It just I this kind of stuff. This is again as I stated earlier, creationists answers in Genesis, these people love this kind of shit. They love it. They live for this. They live for science, pop science to make some grandiose claim that later turns out to be not so exciting or not true at all or whatever, that's so that they can point and go, look those evil evotards don't know anything. That's what they're this this is going to be one of those cases, trust me. <laughs>